Yeah, so Spurwink, I usually start off by telling people we're one of the larger mental health agencies in the state. We're a nonprofit working with both children and adults in a wide range of um, different um, positions and areas in the state. Um, we cover a good section. Um, we cover York um, County. Uh, most of our, our programs go all the way up through Skowhegan. However, we also have um, some programs such as our treatment foster care that goes throughout the entire state. Same with our um, clinicians and counselors who help with um, Department of Health and Human Services. Um, so Office of um, Children, um, Office for Children, uh, family services. Um, so, yeah, so I'll just get kind of into a lot of it. Um, as she said, I had, um, I've done several roles at Spurwink. I've had the opportunity to be a direct care. I've had the opportunity to be a unit director, and now I'm in HR. Um, I've been with Spurwink for over seven years, and there's quite a few things that I would say make Spurwink unique and the reason why I've stayed with Spurwink for so long. Um, one is you do have the opportunity to move around a lot. We have different opportunities. We do direct care services um, for children and adults in our residential facilities. Um, and we also do educational services for children. We have five schools throughout the state in Saco, Portland, Lewiston, Chelsea, and Cornville. Um, besides that, we do a lot of case management and clinical supports um, spread throughout the um, uh, state as well. So we have such things as functional family therapy. Uh, we have um, Shifa Refugee um, Program uh, that works with Trauma Refugee Services. We do our adult and behavioral health um, programs. I have a lot of different things. We have a adult behavioral health program right out of Portland that does, um, right now I'm looking for substance, um, substance abuse counselor, substance use counselors. Um, and um, we have, um, also we do public school counseling. We support uh, public schools throughout the state. We're hiring for several of those. Um, we do um, treatment foster care. We have a couple different um, programs with treatment foster care. So we have our, our, our program, which is um, for foster, supporting foster families, um, but we also have a family for me contract with the state that allows us to um, give case management and clinical supports. Uh, we also help find um, case um, house parents throughout the state as well. Um, for the much needed um, foster care program. Um, so we have that and then I also, we have the um, Office of Child and Family Services. We have the clinical contract supporting them throughout the state as well. Um, so it's a lot of different things, a lot of very much spread out. Um, things I appreciate about Spurwing quite a bit is um, we do a lot of training in house. So a majority of our um, bulk ro roles are roles that have a lot of um, we have a lot of employees in. We, we actually put people through a two-week orientation. Um, we give people the certificates they need. Um, and it's just very in-depth. We train um, everything from CPR to trainings on autism. We do a couple different systems of managing people's be um, children's behaviors or adults' behaviors. With our children's program, we are using um, what's called TCI, uh, Therapeutic Crisis Intervention. We also help um, train that in, in other departments um, to help people with de-escalating um, children. It's, uh, you can use it with non-children. I'll, I'll be honest with that. It, it's a skill set that works, works across avenues, um, but it is a very in-depth and wonderful training. Uh, it's, it takes you through a full escalation cycle and teaches you how to de-escalate children. Uh, we also have do training such as the care training. It's, um, I love the care training. To me, it makes us very unique and it really changed our, changes our approach. Uh, it really focuses on what treatment looks like, um, takes you through um, a lot of different areas. So everyone in our agency gets trained in it, including our admin, um, to, to have that as a consistent um, consistency across the programs. And uh, it's a big thing that people a lot of times take away from it when they're working with uh, children or adults is the willing and able grid which really focuses on how to, um, what, what to do if somebody says they're willing, but they're not able. Um, such as in that case, obviously you would be changing expectations and helping them, um, helping them build those skills that they need to, to be successful. Um, and so it creates just a better air, I think just a, 
a nicer, more relaxed atmosphere creates a softer approach uh, and it, it just really strengthens, I believe, all the employees throughout the agency. Um, the other things that I, I really appreciate about Spurwink in my time here is uh, when I go into our benefits, I, I'm a vacation person, I'll be honest. I, I love my vacations um, and Spurwink has given me a lot of flexibility with, with vacations um, and you earn a lot of earn time. So depending on the position, different uh, positions do accrue earn time a little bit differently. But when I started out, and still to this day, when I started out direct care, we got a day of earn time. Every day, it's over two weeks of earn time. Uh, and you earn it, you accrue it. And I, um, oh, I'll answer that question right up, uh, here in a little bit. Um, the, um, but yeah, you earn it, you accrue it. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use it. The accrual rates actually also go up with years of service. Um, so I, um, I accrue a fair amount of our time at this point after seven years. Uh, so I use mine for vacation, but other people, you have the option of cashing out. So I had a lot of employees that would cash out our time. Um, they would, um, you know, they would submit the paperwork and usually in December and they would get the cash outs the next year and it helped them out with different bills. I had some that would help them with oil bills. And, um, you have the option of also using it to help pay off college debt or pay for college um, either. Um, those are other options that you can use for earn time for. Um, as well as the college avenue for people who wanna take, go back to college or take additional courses. Um, we do $2,000 tuition reimbursement every year as well. So you have those couple of avenues of using earn time and also using the $2,000. Um, dollars. I, I love it. I'm using it. I've worked for a couple different social service agencies and I, um, a lot of times in nonprofit, you may not see as many uh, tuition reimbursements out there. And I, I really appreciate Spurwink and it's something that I, I'm taking advantage of very much. <laughs> um, we do do medical, uh, medical dental vision. Uh, the 403B match after a year of service is a percent for percent up to 3%. Uh, we also have included some additional things. Um, about a year ago, we added pet insurance, uh, a, a few other other items there. So I, I, I love it. I've taken advantage of most of the stuff that we offer, uh, whether it is also Verizon discounts, et cetera. Um, but I find it to be just a very nurturing and supportive environment. Um, they've the thing I really appreciated coming into this, I had worked in social services for a few years before coming to Spurwink. And um, they, just the structure, the foundation, the consistency across um, the agency, I, I just felt was very unique in it. You know, and it, it helped, helped my growth and development immensely. Um, so besides those positions that we're hiring for, um, that, I, that I mentioned the direct care, ed techs. So direct care is just a high school diploma or GED. Uh, and a valid driver's license. You don't need your own vehicle. We use Spurwink vans to take our clients around. Um, and at Tex, we do 90, you need at least 90 college credit hours. Um, it doesn't matter what your degree is in, but you um, just need 90 college um, credit hours to be able to be an ed tech. Uh, once again, we do the training and licensure um, in-house for BHPs and et cetera. We, case managers is usually a bachelor's degree and then Clinicians and counselors, um, we're looking at L, um, masters in social worker counseling. So we're looking for at least conditional versions of the uh, L, LMSW or the conditional version of the LCPs. So, um, so that's kind of what I'm looking for for Water Range. Periodically, we have additional positions that open up, such as cooks, and we have admin positions that open up every so often in our finance department, IT. Um, you know, we had. Had one recently in our CQI um, to to um, so there's there's different avenues as well for people um, if they're they're not necessarily looking to to do that more um, social work aspect we do have administrative tasks most of our administrative positions tend to be in the Portland area um, right now I do have a office manager out in Parsons Field <laughs> uh, so um, because our main our main hubs a lot of times is Biddeford Portland Lewiston. Auburn area, the Augusta area, the Randolph, Augusta, Chelsea area, and then the Cornville or the Scout Egan area. But besides that, we also have um, residential programs over in like the Parsons Field, Limerick area, and over in the Casco area as well. Thank you, Chris. Thank and you. take good care of yourself. 
uh, and thanks for all the work that you do and everybody at Spurwink. It's a great, great organization. Thank you.